Growth Mindset Tactics You Can Adopt As Soon As Today Consider the person or people in your life who have achieved significant success. Perhaps they just got a promotion at work, or maybe they just bought their first house. Do you think that their success is a result of their efforts and learning from mistakes, or do you see it as luck or inherent talent? Some people view success as the outcome of hard work, persistence, and continuous learning, while others believe that success is purely genetic and that certain people naturally excel in specific areas. These two perspectives are commonly referred to as fixed and growth mindsets. As you may have already guessed, having a fixed mindset can be pretty limiting. If you believe that success is a product of luck, you won't see any reason to try when it comes to pursuing your goals. Having a growth mindset, on the other hand, opens you up to more possibilities for success because you're willing to work hard and learn from your failures. Now that we've discussed the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset, let's talk about some growth mindset tactics that you can adopt as soon as today. Explore why you want to adopt a growth mindset. What aspects of the growth mindset inspire you to make a change? What advantages do you anticipate a growth mindset could bring to your life? Having a clear understanding of this can provide you with a sense of purpose, especially when you're facing challenges in adopting this perspective. And yes, there will be challenges. Adopting a growth mindset is not an immediate thing. It's going to take time and effort. It's not a bad thing, though. Change your perspective on failure. This is a hard one. You'll definitely need to do a bit of mental gymnastics, but that's simply a part of the process of developing a growth mindset. You should try to see failure not as a sign of incompetence, but as a natural part of learning. Even the most accomplished athletes, artists, and business leaders failed at some point in their lives. It's okay to fail, as long as you don't let your failure persuade you to give up. If anything, it should motivate you to keep trying. Know your limits. Remember you're only human. A big part of having a growth mindset is understanding your limits. Some things will simply be beyond what you're able to achieve, and that's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself and focus on pursuing realistic goals. This isn't just about not biting off more than you can chew. It's also a matter of learning how to accept yourself as you are, with room for growth, of course. Notice how you speak and act. Do you often find yourself saying things like, I suck at this, or I'll never be as talented as she is? It's perfectly normal for thoughts like this to creep in every once in a while, but if you're constantly thinking of talking this way about yourself, it might be a sign that you have a fixed mindset. Noticing that you have a fixed mindset is the first step to fixing your fixed mindset. When you have negative thoughts, acknowledge them and try to swap them out for thoughts like, if I practice enough, I'll get better, and she's clearly put a lot of effort into this, and I can too. So there you have it. You can start working on your growth mindset as soon as today. So don't wait any longer. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.